With the release of the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, Samsung decided to ship it with Android 8.0 Oreo. In this update, Samsung made a few visual changes and also included some extra features that most of you might find useful. Let's take a quick look. Starting with the lock screen, the color of the clock will match the color of your wallpaper and tapping on the clock will center it and also show you the seconds. You can also adjust the transparency of your notifications within the settings. This control combined with the new clocks and color choices can lead to some unique lock screen experiences. Now for the 1% of you who use Samsung stock launcher app, you'll be happy to hear that it now supports app shortcuts when long pressing on icons. There's still a few apps that aren't supported yet, but at least Samsung finally adopted this feature. When creating folders on the home screen, you also now have the option to change the color of the icon to whatever color you'd like. The search menu within the app drawer has been tweaked a bit with the entire background being transparent and the apps you search for will appear right above the suggestions. Lastly, you now have notification dots. To enable it, go into the settings, tap on notifications, select and enable app icon badges, and then choose show without number. You can also enable show notifications so you can quickly check an app's notification when you long press on its icon within the home screen or app drawer. When you hop into the recents menu, the bars are now colorful and you can change the way the apps are displayed. For example, thumbnail view is your standard full page preview and list view is a list of all your recently opened apps but without the screenshots. It's an easier way to find an app you were using if you happen to open a bunch of applications. The Samsung keyboard also has new features. It now has native GIF support, comes with new emojis, AR emoji stickers, and your clipboard history. Not only that, but you can change the contrast of the keys and swipe to type is made easier and more accurate. For the stock gallery app, you can now hide certain albums just in case the menu becomes too cluttered. Also, all screenshots taken are now labeled as screenshot. The name of the app the screenshot was taken in will appear and the date and time are still there. If we jump into the settings, the main page now has a full search bar at the top. The about phone menu has been revamped letting you see your phone number, model number, serial, and IMEI. In the display menu, there is a new option labeled block accidental touches, which prevents the screen from detecting touch input when your phone is in a dark place, such as a pocket or bag. Within device maintenance, you can now have the phone auto restart once a week for whatever reason. Within the developer options, there is a new setting to help improve Bluetooth audio with custom codecs. It's labeled Bluetooth audio codec, and within this menu, you can switch between SBC, AAC, and even Qualcomm's APTX audio technology. If you're looking for some wireless buds that support most of these settings for the ultimate sound experience, then check out Optima's new Force BE6i. Now, even though they did sponsor this video, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. When using these headphones, I was really amazed at how well these sound. Plus, the aluminum design with the magnetic tips and the flat Kevlar cable gave these headphones a premium and stylish feel. I also found these to be the perfect fit for when I go to the gym or other on-the-go situations as these can last up to 8 hours. Has an IPX5 rating, so rain and sweat shouldn't be an issue. It comes with multiple ear tips, including ones that are soft foam for great comfort a carrying case, and the Bluetooth range tops at 100 feet, which I love. The original price is $99, but you can grab these for $79 until the end of July with a variety of colors to choose from, so I wouldn't miss out on that deal if I were you. The link will be right below that like button. Anyways, if you have a social app that only allows one account to be logged in at a time, then you can use Dual Messenger to duplicate it and allow you to log into two accounts simultaneously. Keep in mind that only a few apps are supported, such as WhatsApp, Snapchat, Facebook, and more. We've seen this before on the Note 8, but I thought I'd just let you know. The next feature is called Edge Lighting. If you enable this, you can have some sweet new lighting effects around the edge of the screen when you receive a notification. You can edit the lighting style, such as changing the overall theme, color, or thickness, choose when you want the effect to turn on, and select which apps you want to use with Edge Lighting. The Always On display has a few more options for customization, aside from the ones found in the theme store, such as new themes, color options, and the ability to add a GIF. You can choose to add your own by selecting it within the internal storage or select one from the few Samsung already provides. Also, just a quick side note, you can now modify the location of the face widgets. So if you don't want music controls within the always on display, you can choose lock screen and face widgets will only appear within the lock screen and not your always on display. Those are all of the new unique features presented so far in Samsung Experience 9.0. Of course, you also get picture in picture mode to keep watching your videos on any screen, autofill to automatically fill in your usernames and passwords for websites and apps when using third party apps such as LastPass, smart text selection, the new notification interface and more. In my opinion, Samsung did a great job of implementing Android Oreo, even though it did take them a while to push out the update. They pay attention to the tiny details, the new design tweaks look great, you still have all the old Samsung features found in Android Nougat, and the interface is still fast and smooth. 
Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Smash that thumbs up button if you did. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about the Samsung Oreo update. Get subscribed for more awesome Android content and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.